Hello. This week in our group, our Facebook group, then we're doing the airplane corner fold card. So I pulled out a white card and I've already used my scoreboard here. And what I did was to make the airplane fold and I like it about an inch. So I put this, the fold up here at the center. So right here on the number six. And then I put I, the one inch mark is at the seven. So I took my embossing tool and I found seven and I carried it down to where I need to line it up. So I need to line it up here. So now I can line the center fold up here, the center of my card on the fold six at the six mark and then this here at the seven. So then I was able to just go ahead and just follow this six straight down and fold it in and emboss it. Okay, so if you line up the fold of your card and the center of your scoreboard, okay, or on any of the numbers, it doesn't matter as, as long as you, it's just easier for me to use the center because it says center. <laughs> so I put it there and then I found one, one inch from six would be seven. So I just followed that down and that's how far over I needed to put the point of the front of my card. Okay, and then line the, the inside fold of the card up to it and that makes my straight line there. Okay, then I know where it's gonna be folded. All right, so I've done that. So that's done and I folded it over already and I like that. So then I took a piece of scrap green that has writing on the back of it so I laid that down on here and I thought, all right, well, I don't want it, I don't want to have to worry about folding this all the way down. So first I trimmed it down so that it's four by five and a quarter. And then after that I did that, and that's so that it can be a layer on the front. Okay, so four inches, four inches wide by five and a quarter. Okay, so now I can lay that down here, and then I had this piece on here. So I thought, all right, so how can I cut this piece to make sure it matches that? So I just took my pencil and just lined this piece up on the front where I want it to be, and then found my fold here and marked it, found my fold and marked it, laid that down on my cutting board and cut this piece off, okay? And you can see the little tick marks that I had on there, right there and right up here, okay? So now this can be glued on here. And I'm trying to make something out of this napkin. I got this when we went for hibachi. So it was so yummy. So I just need to put some glue on here and then we can glue this on the front. So let me get some glue on here. And let me turn that over, whoops. There, and I can put that in the middle the best that I can. Turn it over, give it a little back rub. Alrighty, turn it back over, and now we've got the fold there. So, and I did pull out this red too because that match is so pretty. So, with the red and green. Alrighty, so I definitely want this to be on here, but I don't know if I should put a little red behind it or just leave it like that. And I'm thinking I could do red up on one of these. On one of these, you know what? Actually. I could put this piece that I cut off. What side has those marks? That one, so that's the front. So that should match here. So I could actually do that one here. Aha. Uh -huh. And I can use this as a pattern to cut another one out of here. Yes, yes, yes. And I can put that one here. That would be pretty red and green. <gasps> I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way and trace this. Actually, I'm just gonna put the line just put the mark on there. Alrighty, so right here and right there. And then I can cut that. Alrighty, so there's the line, the little mark there and there. Alrighty, let's cut that off. And oh, I hope this works, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, oops, wrong way, this way. That actually fits pretty good. Could have been a little bit thinner, but that's okay. Now, the butt doesn't match with this. Oops, the opposite way. Yes, it does. All right. Ah, oh, 
and that's sharp. All right, I'm doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some glue on this piece. And there we go. Line that up. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. All righty. I just dusted the stairs down. Got all my kitty cat hairballs off the stairs. I do that on the way downstairs when I go down to take a shower. And I've got all that hair stuck in my nostrils now. All right, so let's put this on there. And that's perfect. Nice. All right, now I want to get this glue off of here. And get that pencil mark off. All right, I've got a little bit more glue poking out here. We can wipe that off. All righty. Any more glue? Yep, right here. I love these erasers. They take anything sticky off, which is awesome. And then you just have to pick all these sticky balls off when you're done. Because it all balls up on there. Alrighty. There. That's pretty. I do like that. All right. So now I have this. So I need to tear it about here. So let's go ahead and tear that piece off. There. And, oh, that's so, so pretty. That's gonna be sharp. Alrighty. How fun. Now that's, I'm thinking I should so take this to the restaurant next time I go. And just let them know they did a great job and show them their napkin and say, look. <laughs> I think they'd probably enjoy that. I'm wondering if I should tear it down this way and then move this down a wee bit. But no, because I don't, it's not big enough for that. All right, I'll just let it go on there. All right, that's pretty. All right, now, in order to get this on, I'm gonna use my double-sided tape because if I put something wet on it, then it's gonna get rippled. And I don't wanna do that. And how many layers is this? I think this is one layer. Yep, it is. Alrighty. Oh yes, it was. It was a two layer. That's right. Because I did rip the back part of it off while we were at the restaurant. And I just used the back part. And this is the front. <laughs> this is the rest of it. So this was the front side. And see where I tore it here? Because I opened it up and tore it on. Oh no, I tore it in half. That's right. That's so nice and thick. Who's coming up? <laughs> My little rascal's gonna be jumping up any moment. So, whoops, here he is. Okay, he's gonna need a hug before I get down. So, come here. Whoops, you're knocking over, you're knocking into the camera. Turn around this way. Okay, don't sit down yet. Okay, there you go. Come here. <laughs> okay, yeah, you do better. Hmm? No, you don't want a hug? Hmm? You just want to roam? You can't roam. I'm doing a video. Come on. <laughs> here all right all right sorry about that all right let me check the ca camera now all right my apologies for the shaky shaky cat scenario up here all righty let's see I have to separate this release paper without tearing it that's the hard part when you're doing stuff with it with this kind of tape and napkins napkins are kind of tough there it goes Alrighty, that one's done. Come on off. So have you seen The Chosen yet? We just, I knew it was on and it's been on for a couple years. And I found a couple of them on YouTube 
but I asked my husband to see if he could find it on the TV so we could watch it together because I just watched the part bits bits of the the first season. So and he he found it on I don't know one of the channels that we have. We don't do we don't have cable because here in Connecticut it really stinks. So we just buy the sticks and the things like Netflix and whatever. I don't know whatever the programs he has. But uh, but anyways, I told him I would like to watch The Chosen if he can figure out where that is and find it. And he found it. So we're on season one and we're enjoying watching it. It's always interesting to watch uh, movies to see how they play different characters and to make it, to show it like we can see the, their actual life, their actual steps and stuff. And that's, I find that fascinating. All right, that is not wanting to come off. Let's try this one. I know I tried this one already before, but we can try it again. Come on, you little stinker. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I do this. Maybe if I grab it this way. It worked. Yes. <laughs> that worked. Now let's get it back up here. Come on. There we go. Now let's do that with this one. All right, press that down. Lay this across here. There, now I have something to hold on to. All right, try that again. Come on, just the top. There it goes, nope, is it? Is that the stick? Yes, it is. Woohoo, it worked, yay! All righty, there. All right, this double side tape is very, very sticky. That's really pretty. Okay. Put that on there. That looks so nice. That's pretty. All right. So now I need something else on here. Let's see. Um, 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 um. What else? I'm thinking I do have fortunes. I could put a fortune on there. Or I could put some type of word. Oh, don't spill out on me. This is so full. I've been going crazy trying to find all the verses and words and whatever and putting them in here and getting them all in the same thing because I had them in different places and that was just silliness. So, let's see. Thinking of you would be pretty. That would definitely take away from that, though, and I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a fortune. Whenever we get fortunes, then I save them. As every thread of gold is valuable, so is every moment of time. Isn't that pretty? But you know what? I think that should go on the inside. Yep, I think so. That's a good idea. And I think I will put it on here. So let's do that. Alrighty, lay down. Go back in there. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and glue this down. That's pretty. All right. Okay, so then we can trim this. And trim that off. That's perfect. 
perfect. Do I want this on the inside now that I've got the red on it? Or, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. All right. See, I was wondering about that. So I definitely want it on the front. That's really pretty. I like that. Neat. All right. So now, what's next? Hmm. How about, oops, hands are falling over there. Um, 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 um. I'm wondering about a. Yeah, what's it called? A button. I could do a button. Let's see. Got some buttons in here. There's a red one. That might be cute. Nope. Or do I have a green one? Yes, I do, right there. Hmm. All right, my friend gave me a thing of buttons. Where did I put those? Um, in one of these containers. In one of these containers. Roses. I wonder if I put a green rose up here. No, that looks stupid. <laughs> that actually looks okay there. But I think that might, yeah, that definitely takes away from this. As soon as I move it off, then it looks better. Okay, so we don't want that. All right, what about these leaves? I'm wondering if I should put leaves on the inside. Nope, that's going to be funny. Whoops, excuse the phone bound snippet there. I have to push that button. Alrighty, so that's not going to work either. Alright, I need to figure out what I'm going to do. I definitely, I think I do want to 3D this up, so let's start with that. Let's get purple scissors and let's go ahead and put a piece of 3D foam back here. There. Alright. That looks better already. I do like it like that, but it, it feels like it needs something else. And I'm not figuring, oh, my darn cat bit a hole in the bottom here. So I'm dropping roses on the floor. <laughs> that little stinker, every single time he sees a bag, he does that. Oh, he drives him crazy. Oh, good golly. this later. Alrighty. Put these back in the flower box. And what else? Something little. Oh, I know. I know what I can do. My little bugs. Bug, bug, bugs. I don't know where those are. Thank you. Yes, they are. Right there. Ladybug, that would be cute. Are those just bees or are they bugs too? I think I separated them. Yep, I did. All right. So bugs should be in here. Yes. Woohoo. All righty. Put the bees back in there. Got bees, ladybugs, and butterflies. All righty. Let's put this down here. And I just need one. Which one do I want? Oh, and I forgot about those. That would be cute. <laughs> That's actually cute. Huh. Do I want to put two on? One here and one there. Turn them this way so it looks like they're flying. <laughs> two is too many. All right. Actually, I think just the red one right there. That one's better. Okay. And there's actually a deep red one right here and right there. All right, there. 
did those ones with marker. That's even darker. All right, so that'll look better. Oh, yes. Yep, okay, we're doing that. Yay. All righty. And come on, get out of there, Leaf. Ta-da. All righty, so now these ladybugs can go back. And then maybe just some bling. Yep, let's grab some bling. All righty. Bling, 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 bling. So... See, that's too orangey. That would work. Those would work. Let's do that. Alrighty. So if I do one here, we just, I just took the win, uh, the window plastic off, so I saved my painter's tape again. So now I can do some more strips with those. Remember, this is a new blade, Barbara. Don't press so hard. Alrighty, so I definitely want one here. Alrighty, and then triangle one here. And then one there, up here, nope, there. All right, whoops. Come on, little guy, get out here. Then we can put this on there. I should put that up too. That would be adorable. And I've got these little bitty thingies. And where's the one that's open? Oh, those are just little tape things. Okay. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> let go, let go there. All right. Huh, I must have used that other one. All right. Well, we'll open up this one. Yes, this is it. This is it. All right, I found it. These things are so tiny. I love them. These ones are from um, Timu. And they're so dinky tiny. I love them. They're adorable. And I think they're like a dollar and a quarter, something like that, for one for one sheet. So, and one sheet comes in a package, but I just put a couple sheets together so that way I don't have so many bags out. So I can find them easier. <laughs> And then I just throw them all on my desk like that. All right. Perfect. That is cute. All right. I'm pleased with that. Nice. Good. What do you think of that? Isn't that nifty? I like it. All right. So let's put these bling blings away. And I will bring this up so you can see. Clean up my desk here because I like to put all this stuff back away. Otherwise, it gets in my way. All righty. All right, so here you go. There's the finished card, and it all started with the napkin. It's not funny, it was just too pretty. I just couldn't use it, so I had to tear that napkin in half and shove this part in my purse. <laughs> all right, and again, this is called an airplane fold card because, as you can see, it looks like a folded air paper airplane up there. Isn't that neat? All righty, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, Happy crafting. Bye-bye.